So here are the statements. All horses are elephants. Some elephants are not camels. Be careful. Some not type of a statement. So let me draw the basic diagram. You all know what the basic diagram is, right? The one which involves minimum overlapping. So all horses are elephants. All horses are elephants. All the horses are elephants. That's the diagram for statement one. All horses are elephants. Some elephants are not camels. Some elephants are not camels. So this is how we draw camels. Now be careful. When you say some elephants are not camels, let me use a highlighter to explain this. Right? You're saying some elephants are not camels. So the statement which has been highlighted in green here is what? Some elephants are not camels. Let me highlight the same green. Uh, I mean, let me highlight using the same color in the diagram. So some elephants are not camels. Which region represents that? The outside regions. These are the elephants which are not camels. You understand? Well, you may not have this luxury in the exam to use different colors so that you can understand easily. But for the sake of clear explanation, let me use this technology that we have, right? Okay, so whatever is in green here has been highlighted here. Some elephants are not camels. Which elephants are not camels? The outside elephants. The reason I am stressing so much on this is because for some A's are B's and some A's are not B's. For both of them, the diagram is the same. So many times we get confused. Like when elephants and camels are drawn like this, it does not mean that we are always referring to this shaded region. No, it can be the outside region also. It is some not type of a statement. Okay, so the basic diagram is done. All horses are elephants. Some elephants are not camels. Okay. Uh, let's let's look at the conclusions now. Conclusion number one: Some elephants are horses. Some elephants are horses. This is a definite conclusion. We don't even have to look at the diagram for this one. Yes or no? You know, this is a definite conclusion for the first statement. All horses are elephants would definitely mean some elephants are horses. For all A's are B's. All A's are B's. The definite conclusion is some B's are A's. Yes or no? All A's are B's. What's the definite conclusion? Some B's are A's. For all A's are B's, the definite conclusion is some B's are A's. For all horses are elephants, definitely some elephants are horses. No need to even look at the diagram for that one. So first one definitely follows. First conclusion definitely follows. Second one, some camels are not elephants. Again, without looking at the diagram, some elephants are not camels. Does not mean that some camels are not elephants. Are you able to follow? All the camels can be elephants. So this one does not follow. I mean, you don't have to do, draw the diagram for this one. Are you able to follow? A possible way of drawing the diagram is like this. Some elephants are not camels, right? We can draw it in this way. Elephants and camels in this way. Now here also let me highlight the same green region. Which region are we referring to? This outside region which indicates some elephants are not camels. Yes or no? What is the statement? Some elephants are not camels. This is that region which indicates some elephants are not camels. Some elephants are not camels. These are the elephants which are not camels. Huh, these elephants are camels. These are the elephants which overlap with camels. But outside elephants are not camels. So now if you observe this particular possible diagram, what do you see? All camels are elephants. He says some camels are not elephants. How can it be true? He says some camels are not elephants. Here I found that all camels are elephants. So that is the reason second conclusion is false. And in fact, you need not draw the diagram for that one. Because uh, for some A's are not B's. For some A's are not B's. There is no definite conclusion. All these are very basic uh, points of syllogisms. You have to just refer to the videos to understand this. So when he says some A's are not B's, there is no definite conclusion. You cannot say that some B's are not A's. Some A's are not B's does not mean that some B's are not A's. It is not guaranteed. It may be possible, but it's not guaranteed. All right. Next, some horses are not camels. Some horses are not camels. How is it possible? This is clearly wrong because all horses are. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Hold on. He's talking about camels. Let me not run my horse. Hold on. Some horses are not camels. Some horses are not camels. Is it true? Uh, some horses are not camels. No, I think it is false because all the horses can be camels. All the horses can be camels. It's possible. All the horses can be camels. Shall I draw a diagram to show that? Let me draw a diagram to show that. So this is possible diagram one, right? In this itself, let's say if I draw horses here inside camels. 
these are the horses go back and check the statements have i violated any of the statements statement one says all horses are elephants yes all the horses all horses are elephants you see all the horses are elephants all the horses are inside elephants so statement one holds true some elephants are not camels yes some elephants are not camels these outside elephants are not camels so in this you clearly see that all horses are camels so when all horses are camels how can you say some horses are not camels see some horses are not camels satisfies the basic diagram you can say these horses are not camels you can choose some of these horses and say these are not camels or in fact you can choose all the horses and say all these horses are not camels as per the basic diagram according to the basic diagram so conclusion three some horses are not camels satisfies the basic diagram no doubt it satisfies the basic diagram it clears the basic diagram but will it clear all the diagrams no you see in this diagram it fails some horses are not camels it fails all the horses are camels so how can you say some horses are not camels that is the reason it is false that is the reason it is false and the last conclusion some elephants are not horses some elephants are not horses some elephants are not horses is it true not true very basic here all horses are elephants clearly if you look at the basic diagram some elephants are not horses is true these are the elephants which are not horses all these outside elephants are not horses here also these are all outside elephants which are not horses yeah but will it always be true no i can draw elephants and horses in this way also the statement said all horses are elephants i can show horses and elephants using the same circle we can represent the horses and elephants in the same circle the moment you do that this is the possibility of drawing all a's are b's the basic way of drawing all a's are b's is as shown here in the basic diagram but this is a possible way of drawing all a's are b's so the moment i draw all a's are b's in this fashion what happens some elephants are not horses become false because all the elephants are horses all the elephants are horses the moment all elephants are horses how can you say some elephants are not horses how can you say all elephants are not horses so one definitely follows two three and four definitely do not follow is there any complement repair here no i don't see any complement repair right i mean no need to worry about complement repair because for some not the complementary is all which is not there in the conclusions all these are some not type of conclusions right some not some not and some not for some not type of a conclusion the complementary is all for some a's are not b's the complementary is all a's are b's which is not there in the conclusions at all hence the answer to this question should be only one follows only one follows